videos. Number five, Gitchy Manitou. Colin and Courtney from the Paranormal Files YouTube channel venture out to the Gitchy Manitou State Preserve in Iowa near Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The video starts out with Colin explaining that he's been to this location several times before and on his previous investigations, he and his group have heard all kinds of strange noises such as screaming, crying and gunshots. He also explains that the preserve is known as a famous murder location for a quadruple murder of four teenagers and that it's an ancient Indian burial ground supercharged with paranormal activity. But absolutely nothing could prepare him for this investigation. Hey everybody, Colin here. So you guys know this place. This is Gitchy Manitou State Preserve in Iowa, nearby my hometown, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. This is an infamous location. You guys have been with me here multiple times in the history of the channel. Years ago, one of my first videos was shot right here with Joe and Jackson where we heard these screaming. I've heard a little girl screaming in this preserve. I came here, I did a live stream where we were hearing things being thrown around, animals, things in the, in the, in the wilderness screaming. I've heard gunshots here. Now, you guys know this place is a, a super battery for paranormal activity. Not only are there Native American burial grounds inside of the park, there are also encampments, all these different relics that the indigenous people left here. There's an old abandoned cabin that was once a post office deep in the park. There are lost graves. And in addition to that, Gitche Manitou is infamous for the quadruple homicide that occurred here back in 1973, when the Fryer brothers ended the lives of four teenagers who were out here partying, playing guitar, and they just happened upon them decided today's the day that we take their lives. They killed all four of them, abducted somebody, and she was the reason why they were caught because she was able to identify them. As you guys can see, it is the summer solstice, so it's the longest day of the year. It's 10, 15 right now. And the sun is still And the sun is still, still shining. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's very bright. <laughs> we're gonna go back now to the, uh, to the place where the murders happened. I'm ready. Let's do it. So Let's we're go. heading in now. Yes. It's a very eerie vibe tonight, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it really is. Well, to get you we go. And I'm telling you, it is eerie out tonight. You can almost feel it in the air, it's magnetic. So one thing also that I was just telling Courtney that I've always thought is just kind of eerie about investigating at Gitchy. Well, one, like we were saying, uh, this is very isolated. Yeah, there's just fields for miles on every every side. You, yeah. <laughs> so if someone wanted to recreate the murders, they could easily just see our car and come down this path. I mean, there's nobody around here. Yeah, and the parking lot's along a big road. Yeah. So they could easily just see our car. And the second thing is, you go through all these open fields, it feels almost safe, and then when you get to the murder location, it suddenly becomes forested and dark. And even now, it's like it's pretty light out. You can see uh, the, the area around you, but once you get into the cabin area, it is pitch black because of the trees. And at night, it becomes even darker. Miles out in the middle of nowhere, Colin and Courtney venture down a long dark trail, mentioning that it all seems very, very eerie. They reached a rundown cabin where the young teenagers were murdered, and strangely, the trail where they wandered down went all the way through fields, but the cabin itself is surrounded by woods. They set up a REM pod, which is a device that produces a small magnetic field that reacts when the temperature changes or if someone is next to the device. Take a look. Yo, that was right when I turned the light off. Yeah. Is that you? Can you step away from the REM pod, please? Look at it, just God. stepped away. Thank you. You're welcome to come here and hang out with us in here. We just got here, we're setting up all of our devices and we would love to communicate with you if you want to step in here and talk with us. Oh, oh, God. oh, oh there it goes, there it goes. Oh my God. Yeah, please come through, come in here. Oh, 
I just got chills, dude. Oh my god. You feel that? Yeah. We've had this on for literally like 30 seconds and it has been going off pretty much the entire time it's been on. Yeah, and, and even in our last video at Malvern Manor, we no had REM pod. no REM pod action the entire night. No. I'm telling you, this place is, uh, this place is charged. Yeah. Okay, we're going to officially begin the investigation now. You guys online know that I value... Oh. Uh, I'm actually... I'm actually cold, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not even f***ing with you, Courtney. Oh. Out of every place that I've filmed at, I return to Gitchy Manitou because it is so active. And there is something here that is not in other places. Even right now, I'm cold. All my yeah. hair is on end. I did not feel this once at our last location. No. This is like... Oh, see, look at that. It's oh, okay. Wait. Come on through. We're just here to hang out. If you're here, it's not even doing like tiny no, little REM pod hits. Not it's at all. like going off. Wow. Thank you for coming yeah, thank in here you and for, talking with us. I feel like us. they're sitting right here. Maybe on that stone that's right there. This is insane. That is so long. <gasps> That's crazy, no dude. We would love to hear your voices. We're not afraid of you. Oh my god, I have chills too. We're not afraid of you, and we don't want you to be afraid of us. That is very intelligent. That is, that is crazy. crazy dude. Every time we've asked them anything, it it responds with the rim with the rim pod. Wow. And it's all different tones yeah. too. Every single time. Oh my god. Wow. If you're here with us right now, could you step oh, <gasps> once again? Stop, 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 I was telling Courtney that I was about to say oh, it's like right when what I right when I'm talking. On? I was about to say, um oh, it's kinda hard to breathe. I'm like really cold too. You can't isolate what it was, but at the same time, like there's all of these things are not living objects and yeah. they should not be moving. Well no, we're the only ones here. There's, which is oh, right when I said we're the oh only my ones God. here. Oh my Oh my god, I'm actually like creeps, dude. I've never in my entire experience with being with you have seen a rim pod mm -mm. go off as much as it has. And it's not time. consistent either. That's not an error with, yeah. the, with the device. That's just. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. If that was you, if that was you, we're inviting you with open arms to come into this space. We're about to use a tool that will allow us to hear your voice. I almost heard a whistle right mm -hmm. now. Can you hear that? Yeah. Will you please walk in here at this very moment so we can communicate with you? Oh. I was about to tell you no that I looked way. over there and I felt an energy coming from over there and then immediately, immediately. I literally, you saw me go. Yeah, I <sighs> saw you. And then that happened right there. Look at right when I pointed at it, it stopped. Right when I pointed at it, it stopped. I said right there, it stopped. This is the most insane thing I've I feel, ever seen. I feel personally, Courtney, like they're over here. Should I we feel go like over there? in the corner. If you guys are over there. Could you make some sort of a... Oh my god. Could you move something or throw something to let us know that you're here in the cabin with us? Did you hear that? That animal noise? Is that an owl? I don't know what it was. 
Yes. <gasps> what the hell is going on with this thing? No. That is crazy. Seriously, I've never heard a rim party go off this much. Colin invites the spirits into the rundown cabin to communicate with the pair and the REM pod reacts several times along with Colin mentioning he feels chills which is also a sign of paranormal phenomena. In the pitch black they then hear loud movement in the cabin which startles them both. The REM pod continues to react loudly and Colin mentions the REM pod triggers whenever he talks and that he feels really cold and finding it hard to breathe. He invites the spirits in again and then feels chills once more. Then the REM pod triggers like crazy. And this is where things get very weird. I personally feel like maybe one of the victims has come in to talk to us, but I feel like there's a darkness that is outside of this cabin. Something that I can almost feel that is... <gasps> Shut the f*** up. <laughs> Colin. I'm telling you, I feel like there's something out there that does not want us to be here. It's almost like Donna no, telling me it's... she will not come here because of that Native American spirit that is that attacks people that come in here. Look oh at that. Oh my god. It almost just confirmed that it stopped for a it second and like, it started yeah, when I said... Yeah, it's me. Dude, Do you feel this a, is... I felt almost like a raindrop, like a cold pinch on my hand. And also, like, it's just insane because REM pods will go off, but it's usually like beep, 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 beep. This has been like a continuous beep. Like it's almost like someone is standing over the REM pod telling us like, I'm here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just insane. Well, I feel like someone's here, but what I'm saying is I feel like there's there's some energy in the cabin, but I genuinely feel like, I'm f not even oh, kidding you, Courtney. I cannot even, God. I'm not, and I'm not f with you either. I feel like there's something out there in that. You can't, you guys can't see what we're seeing, but this area is pitch black because of these trees. It blocks out the moonlight. And I feel like there's this very strong energy out there that doesn't want us here. But I feel like somebody who is, maybe someone who was killed here, I don't really know. Some energy has come into the cabin, but there's somebody. <gasps> you you, you this, physically okay. cannot fake that. You cannot fake that. Is How this, do you fake that? Is this the most REM pod activity you've ever had? Because I feel like this is a ridiculous amount. It is. It is. I really feel um, just a, a badness. And I, I don't say that often. You guys know that online too. But I, I genuinely feel... Um, I think that's why my hair keeps getting on end. Because I feel... Uh, I just keep getting the vibe of... I don't want you here. Yeah. Like even right now, like it's summertime and I'm chills. My arms, my legs, I have pants on and it's June. It's June. Yeah. It's the middle of June. And looking out there, I just get the vibe of there's somebody standing out there, six, seven foot tall, doesn't want us here. After discussing the activity that they're picking up is crazy and that they feel uncomfortable, Colin then mentions he feels sick to his stomach and then starts a spirit box in an attempt to directly talk with the spirits and well maybe he shouldn't have watched this can you tell us your name if you're here with us what's your name who are you Oh my god. Music. 
Hey, what the fuck is that? Seriously, what just happened? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I need to sit down. That was just crazy because I just said I felt sick to my stomach. I know. And then and you... Oh. Babe, something... I'm telling you, I was telling you... Dark. I was telling you in five minutes ago. I felt like it was something that isn't a person here tonight. Like maybe someone's in here. Also, I just want people to know, I know they're gonna criticize that entire thing, but if you just watch that unedited clip, I don't know how to just make myself throw up. No, you started gagging. I didn't like put my finger in my thing. I literally gagged and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna throw up. And then I continued throwing up. <laughs> This is like one of the craziest investigations that we've done ever. Um, yeah, this is, and it's crazy because I feel like while you were throwing up and all of that, you, everything, all of the devices kind of went silent. <coughs> all of the devices <coughs> went silent. Colin unexpectedly vomits as if something has gone inside him. What's more is that all their devices went silent as he was vomiting. Colin then states that he wants to leave, but he will stay to finish the investigation. Something he would later regret. Take a look. I wanted to turn on the REM pod one more time. Okay. Alright. Look at him. It's pointing right towards it. You're right, it's pointing right it's, towards it's, the area. Look at, look at the dowsing rods, it's pointing right towards the rim. Oh, you're right. Oh my god, you cannot... Right when I step towards it, it gets weird. Um, if there's a spirit here with us, can you cross these? <gasps> Shut the f*** up. Yeah, Shut up, Courtney. Goes off. Look at this thing. It was not doing this the entire night. Can you point in the direction where you are located? Oh my god, stop. <gasps> Look. Cross the rods if you're misunderstood. Did you make Colin throw up earlier? Cross the rods if you made him throw up. Is there somebody here that does not want us here? <gasps> Babe. Stop, stop. <gasps> Babe, no. there's no fucking way right now. There's literally no Away, Courtney. Oh, oh my god, babe. Oh my god. Oh. Honey, Colin. that is. I, I want to go soon. No, I This is like leave. very, very that freaky was to me. terrifying. I'm. <sighs> oh. oh my god, we were just oh. talking about. Look at that. Hold up, hold up. If you're here, I'm not afraid of you. If you just made me throw up, get the out of here. Stop standing right there in the fucking entrance. Come on, I wanna Get go. the fuck in here. This is absolutely fucking mental, oh Courtney. God. Get inside of here. You want me to come in here? You want to fuck with me? Are you? Ah! 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 What was oh that? Is that your phone? What was that? Oh my Sacrifice. God. What is, here, how to get this. Sacrifice ever brought, brought devil, sacrifice, brought devil, sacrifice, brought devil. Oh, you can't have, make no. the ship, look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that. Sacrifice, brought devil, sacrifice, brought, I'm losing my voice. 
This is too much. No, it's not. This is exactly what we came here for. Stop that! Oh my god. Yo, we f***ing... There's, there's... I told you tonight. I told you I felt... Look at it. Look at that shit. It is not... It's been... This thing's been on 45 minutes right now. Oh my god, that oh was... Oh my god, I'm... No, I'm terrified. It, it stopped right here, right now. It sacrificed brought devil right when this is doing this, right when I threw up. There's Look something. at it. It's not stopping. Oh my god. Colin, this is too perfect. much. This is too much. You're not welcome here if you're gonna scare us. Babe, I can't do this. I'm serious. This is No, this thing knows that this is scaring us. And if you're standing right here, you're not gonna scare us. You're not gonna fucking scare us. If you're here, do something real. Number four, possession. YouTube Urban Explorers, Dark Arts TV, proving demons, exploring with fighters. And Flex, Urban Explorer, visit the old Wellington Club, which was built between 1815 and 1816. The place was frequented by high class citizens for assemblies, dance halls, and parties, and even President John F. Kennedy himself used to visit this place on his trips to the UK. Even one of the spirits says he was shot in the head when asked if JFK still visits the place. Listen to this. There's JFK in here. Does JFK still visit here? He shot in the head, bro. He was shot in the head. He was shot in the head. He was shot. Was, was actually shot in the head. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure he was shot in the head, wasn't it? Or if, if he wasn't shot in the head, it was it was close. He was shot in the head, bro. He was. It was almost an impossible shot what the sniper took. The guys press on and explore several grand rooms of the once fine Wellington Club. Halfway through the video, the guys decide to split up and explore alone in separate sections of the building. Cal ventures into the basement and encounters something creepy. Take a look. Hell. Hell, what about hell? Why? He said lie. We had that on the spirit box. A woman saying lie. What was a lie? What was a lie? Oh man, it's like cobwebs everywhere. Whoa, Jesus! What the? F what the hell just happened then? Everything just like falling down. Why the hell has that just happened? Oh, that scared me to death, that did. Did JFK come here? Does JFK still visit this place? You don't sound good, that. Yeah, it just said yeah. Why does he still visit? Right, there's weird stuff going on. This wasn't doing this before and all of a sudden stuff's just starting to fall down. Are you doing that? Are you throwing stuff? Yes, he just said yes. How many people are down here with me now? Oh. There's two. There's two. I don't like it, this is freaky sort of stuff. If you're around now, try and show yourself. Can you touch me? 
Try and touch me. What the f was that? Hello? Oh my god. What the f was that? I just heard a woman. Just heard a woman's voice. Right, I'm getting freaked out now. I just generally feel like I'm being watched. Right, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I can't do this. Right, it's time for me to get out of it. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the f is going on? Yo, I need to get out of it right now. What the f? Hello? What the? That door's just closed on its own. <sighs> Guys? A pile of rocks falls from above Carl, and the spirits seem to respond to Carl's questions via his necrophonic phone app. He then hears a woman's voice and gets freaked out and leaves. But as he's leaving, a door seemingly closes all on its own. The guys group up, but Flex is missing. They head upstairs to a third floor room, and what follows is very disturbing. I think he's in here, I see his camera. Flex? Yo, Flex. Flex. You alright? Flex? Yo. 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 You right? Yo, you falling asleep? Bro. Hi, bro. Don't do that. No, don't do that to Yo. Me. No, he's doing nothing again. Oi. Bro. Like Whoa, what? Jesus Christ. You alright, man? You fall asleep or something? Bro, you alright? No, seriously, you okay? Flex. Well, we should yeah, right, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, we need to get him out. Come get on, him out come on, come on, come on. Come on, bro. Get him out. Joe, Joe, grab, grab, grab his camera, bro. Come on. Yo, Flex, come on. Right. Flex, no, seriously, let's get out. Yeah, get out, get out, bro. You alright? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Hey, no, you sure? Yeah. Do you, do you yeah. know your name? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. This happened last time. Come on. Yeah, come on, let's let's go. Hey, 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 bro. Yo, 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 you alright, man? Yo, bro. Uh, you got, yo, what, do you mean? Yeah, man. Number three, set them free. This next clip is taken from the Paranormal Investigation YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. Ryan, River, Nick, Wyatt and Skylar always upload brilliant footage and I highly recommend checking out their channel if you're into paranormal investigations. I'll leave a link in the description. In this particular video, the guys visit the historic Murphy Hotel, an old haunted hotel which dates back to the 1800s. The team set up static cameras in four of the rooms and split up into different groups where they conduct a series of investigations throughout the hotel using EVPs, spirit boxes and REM pods. Now usually, ghost hunters don't often get much of a clear response when using these devices. However, what the guys at Twin Paranormal managed to capture on their recording equipment is rather incredible. Take a look. Can you please let us know why you are here? If you can do that. Woman. Woman. Are you a woman? I did just hear a yeah, step again. Yeah, me too. I was just gonna say it. If you're... Right there. There's another one in my ear just started ringing. What? Yo, that's scary. Can you please give us a sign that you are here? That was a little something over there. I don't want to talk. Tapping on the glass? Yeah, yeah, that's what that was. 
We don't want to bother you. So, uh, what do you want us to do? That was closer again. Are you pacing around the room next to us? If you'd like us to stay here, or if you think maybe we can build a little bit of trust with you, can you come sit on this bed? Oh, yes. yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. And hold on to this object that's here in my hand. Wow. Sarah, did you used to come visit here or did you live here? Try to give us a sign that you're here. If you need more energy, all of this stuff that we have runs on batteries. Don't be afraid. Runs on electricity. You can use that. Thank you. What do you mean by- House. House. Whoa. Okay. okay. Don't be afraid. Did you Help used us. to live here, Sarah? House? Who needs help? Make a sign. Let us know that you're here. We'd love to help you. What the shit? That was loud. Mm -hmm. That's new. It sounded like it was behind you. How can we help you? Sarah? It's not the spot. I'm gonna go further. Still going. If it is okay with you, Sarah, I mean, no disrespect. Presence. Why? Why? The bed that you were just sitting on creaked. Did it really? Yeah, that was that click. Dude, I got the chills, man, really, really bad. I'm hot over here, so that's all you. I'm sweating over here. Hi, Sarah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna set this object here, too. I've never heard it do that. Me neither. I have to leave this room, the more haunted one, number nine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Help. Help. On both. Both yes. sides. Yes and help. On. Ooh. So I guess we do. We do try to help them. We're going to try to help you. If that's okay with you. But we're going to have to bring the other guys with us. I will appear. What? We've never gotten that before either. Go ahead. We'd love to see it. Did that just go off? Mm -hmm. That did. What the shit? Can you do them both? Are you right there? Sarah? Can you tell us how old you are? Eleven. I asked how old she was. Nine. Join us. We're nine. Going to join nine. us. Nine. Join us. Nine and nine join, join us. us. Nine and join us. We're, We're literally going to number nine right now, this second. Holy That's shit. That's the most haunted room, too. Holy shit, dude. I cannot believe that. Whoever it is oh knows we're gosh. coming. Sarah, if you were eleven, can you please light one of those up to answer our question? Both. Holy shit, I, all I did was sit down. All Both. I did was sit down. Thank you. Thank you. We just heard one of you talk to us through the device. Said nine, and then join us. Who is us? Do you have any names by any chance? Good job. That was amazing. Can you do that again? In case you didn't already know. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. You can come hold on to me real quick. Come hold on to my hand. Amelia. Holy f I think I just caught something insane, girl. What? 
Did you see something? Holy shit. What did you see? I was pointing this way and I heard... I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. It was like a woman's voice. Amelia. Dude, I heard that. It was like a woman's voice. Dude, I'm pretty sure I just caught something really good. Yeah, that was legit a woman's voice. I swear to God I heard it. You can use both of those at the same time and have enough energy. What? Some, I sw either my shirt just readjusted or something grabbed it. You can use both of those at the same time and have enough energy. What? Some, I sw either my shirt just readjusted or something grabbed it. it like flicked it. Really? Yeah. Did someone just grab Nick's shirt? You can tell us right here in our device. Or you can touch this device right on the bed. Thank you. Thank you. What? Twice in a row. Yeah. Okay, Sarah. I just want to say thank you so much. I want to give you this option here. If you want to stay here, please show us that you want to stay by holding onto these devices, these objects. Or if you'd like to come with us and be free, I can help guide you out the door off this land, out of this area, if you want to be free. But you do not have any permission to stay with me. There it goes. The devices trigger on voice command almost instantly, with clear answers coming from the spirits. Something you rarely see. At one point, Nick's shirt looks as if it's pulled by something they can't see. After this, the guys decide to venture into the ballroom, where more ghostly activity has been reported. Take a look. Well, show us if you walk up to it on either side. If you are interested and would like to appear in front of that, that'll show us that you are here. Here's another object I'm going to set here. All you have to do is... Both? Both. Oh, oh. And there's a knock right there. Holy shit. Hi. Are you running around in circles around the triangle? Dude, look at this. Why? Look at that. Something's running around in circles around the pyramid. Dude, it's never done this. No, it's never done it back in this. Thank you so much. It's, like, it's almost like someone's running around in circles right there. Or dancing. Or dancing, yeah. Dancing, that would make perfect sense. Are you dancing right now? Don't mind me, I'm just walking up. Hey, we have this device right next to it. If you could please. Is that it? Yeah. We have several devices here. I respect you. I respect you. This is so cool. I know, what the heck? This is really cool. This is really, really cool. That's just it. Yeah, let's take one. We could move a chair. Message. 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 <clears throat> So What's your message? Right here. What do you mean by message? Can you hear us? River. River. No way. Holy that shit. That has never dude. happened. Holy shit. That dude. has never happened. Oh Not on Spirit Talk. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I was just mapping. Dude, I got the chills. Me bro. too. You just introduced me. You just introduced me. Wait. Do you remember what the device just said? It said, "I respect you." Message. River. River. It's dangerous. What's it's dangerous? dangerous? 
Okay. Okay. Again, bro. It's still happening. We were just using it in the uh, other room. I wasn't going this nuts. No, this no. this device is brand new. It shouldn't act like this. Neither should our two other devices right next to it. I'm gonna try this just to make sure that nothing's interfering here. There's nothing now interfering. We've tried three different things: floor, table, chair. Table and now chair. why it's resetting it one more time. Different distances, different yeah. areas. Dude, what is going on, bro? This is honestly kind of scary. Please walk onto the other side of this device here. Show me green. This is way too hectic. I, I don't understand this. Dude, I'm so confused. Nick. Did it really? Yeah, just said your name. You remember Nick and River? They're the ones who, who spoke to you, huh? So whoever you guys spoke to, they're here with you right now. That's who we promised to help them. That's we, who, that's right. That. We told them to follow us into the other rooms until we got all together. So you wanted some help. I just want to let you know that we are here if you want help. You can hold on to one of us, how many ever there are. And as soon as we leave this building, this property, however you see it, we will help you be free so you can go to the light. But as soon as we leave, you do not have permission to stay with us. We're gonna do everything we can to try and help you out of here. Help us. What the f That's what it told us the first time, me and River. Literally, as soon as, hold on, that was mine. Help us. We're here, we're gonna help you. Hold on to us and we're gonna help you. We're gonna try this. We've done it before. We did it at the lodge, the Comstock Lodge. I'm gonna see if we can put something in the door to see if we can help them out, to get some proof that we helped them out. This is the door. This is how you get out of here. If you want to leave, then all you have to do is, is go. You don't have to be anxious about leaving. We know that you've been here for a very long time. And I'm sure you can be used to this place and also feel very lost. But this is the one thing we know for a fact is going to make you happy and bring you peace. So that's why we're leading you to this door. Thank you. We're so grateful to have spoken to you and helped you. Thank you so much. Okay. Maybe one. I don't know how many just left, but that was pretty cool. Once again, this is the second time that this has happened for us. Number two, lights out. This next scary video was uploaded to TikTok, but I couldn't find the original source. While conducting my research, I noticed a lot of viewers had commented stating that the original uploader had disappeared. And the account from where I got the video didn't credit the original source of the video. If the original uploader has disappeared, it's no wonder, as whatever is haunting his home is indeed terrifying. Take a look.
The man enters his bathroom, where a noise can be heard coming from inside the shower. Panicking, he flicks the light switch on. He then pulls back the shower curtain, but no one's there. Then the bathroom light goes out and he tries to turn it back on, but has no luck. Then as he pans the camera around to take a look inside the dark bathroom, the light flickers and what appears to be a long haired figure can be seen above the door, but ducks away quickly. This could all be fake, but I'll leave it up to you guys to decide and let's just hope the original uploader is safe. Number one, it's watching you. TikTok user Domadios has uploaded several scary videos of haunted happenings inside his home. Now I don't know if these are real or not, so I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Take a look. Guys, like what the heck? I'm home alone right now. I'm literally like shaking right now. And my door keeps on moving by itself. There's like no windows open or nothing. And I'm definitely home alone. Like, what the, oh my, what the fuck? Hello? Hello? Is anybody in here? What in the heck? Hello? I swear you bet. What the fuck? Hello? You better not be prank pranking me right now. What the hell? What the hell? Oh! Guys, you literally will not believe this. I literally just had that, that door thing happening. And now I have that happening. There is nobody in there. And now I have my freaking lights going on and off when I'm trying to sleep. This is absolutely ridiculous. This has been happening for the past five minutes. And like, how is anybody supposed to sleep? <gasps> what the? Hello? Hello? I really don't appreciate this. It needs to stop. No, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not again. <sighs> hey guys. Just waking up, getting ready for work, and here we go once again. We got this door moving. We got my bathroom door moving. Hey, st please stop, spirits. Please. I'm actually, like, honestly scared to go check right now, because what if something's like... Oh, my... Oh. Please stop. Please. Hello? like I thought please stop this is enough this is enough hey guys so I just got home from work and I was reading through your comments of course I already got this happening got this door creaking and moving once again stop I said stop kitty kitty stop I said stop Spirits, this is enough. I said stop. Enough is enough. Okay. I said stop. Stating he is all alone, Dom's door starts to move all by itself. And he takes a look around his home, only to find no one is there. In the next clip, Dom is relaxing in his lounge when his bathroom light starts to flicker. Then, the top part of a head of a black shadowy figure can be seen peeking out the bathroom door, staring right at Dom. But where are his eyes? Then, while Dom is waking up for work, paranormal activity happens in his bedroom. A door can be seen moving, then an empty basket falls off a closet shelf. Again, Dom goes to check, but no one's there. Then, Dom comes home after a hard day at work to find his door moving on its own. His brave little cat charges whatever presence is there, and Dom follows, but again, no one is there. Now Dom claims that this next footage is 100% real and what follows is 
truly creepy. Tom wakes up in the middle of the night to find a tall, dark, shadowy figure standing behind an open closet door, staring directly at him. The shadowy figure appears to have no facial features, no eyes, no mouth, nothing. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It'll really help me out. And if you want to watch the full videos of any of these clips, I'll leave the links to them down in the description. See you in the next video.